Will the uh, clerk please call the roll? Calling the roll for the Monday, February 21st, 2023 Board of Control meeting. It is 11 a.m. We have Levine Ross serving as an alternate for Meredith Turner. Here. We have Councilman Dale Miller. Here. We have Trevor Mecular serving as an alternate for Purnell Jones Jr. Here. Nicole English serving as an alternate for Mike Dever. Here. Catherine Gallagher serving as an alternate for Chris Rone County Executive. Here. Michael Chambers, fiscal officer, serving as chairman. Here. Paul Porter. Here. We have a quorum. Okay, thank you. Um, <coughs> next on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from February 13th. I will make a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Macular. All in favor to approve the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved. Is there any public comment? No public comment. Okay, let's go to our first item. First item, BC 2023-93, Department of Public Works, submitting an amendment to a contract with Vander Brothers Construction Incorporated for rehabilitation of West Ridgewood Drive from Ridge Road to State Road in the City of Parma for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $136,405.38. Nicole English with Public Works. This is an amendment for a road construction project, mainly due to when they... Um, pulled up the surface of the road, the base condition was worse than initially thought, so they increased the base repair, and then in order to get the road um, done and open before winter, they changed the asphalt material to something that could be laid in a colder climate, so that cost um, a little bit more. So that was at the request of the city, and we agreed with that in order to get the construction done. So the project is substantially complete. They'll come back in the spring and just do some planting and last minute pavement markings, but this is essentially done. Thank you, Ms. English. Questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Paul Porter. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item's approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-94, Department of Public Works, recommended an award on RQ10875 and enter into a contract with Josh and Paper and Packaging Company Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $375,454.57 for janitorial, chemical, and paper supplies for the period January 1st, 2023 through December 31st, 2023. Uh, good morning, everyone. Tom Pavich, Department of Public Works. This is the award recommendation of Josh and for the county's uh, Jan Sand contract, such as uh, paper supplies for the bathrooms, cleaning supplies, uh, the chemicals. This was a formal bid and went to uh, 25 vendors. We had six uh, bid proposals that were submitted and evaluated, and this is Josh was the highest scoring vendor. Thank you, Tom. Are there questions from the board? Councilman, yes. please. So, uh, how much inflation are we seeing in these paper products? How much is the cost more than what we're currently paying? It ranges. So I'll paint you the picture here. So historically, this has been a three-year contract around 700000 uh, All six bids that came in were over $1.1 mm. uh, So we're only, unfortunately, doing a one-year contract. Normally, this is a three-year contract. But uh, we're going to go back out to bid again later this year and hopes that some of the uh, supply chain issues and inflation teams down. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank yep. you. Good to know. Yes. Uh, Tom, were, you said they were the, uh, I think, the best, but were they also the lowest, or were there a lower vendor? Joshin was, I believe, the second lowest bidder. The other vendor uh, that was low, um, they didn't score as high in some of the other categories. This was an RFP that had multiple categories for scoring. Um, additionally, they uh, submitted a lot of uh, alternate substitute items that, uh, you know, our uh, subject matter experts in the field have tested in the past and were not as um, reliable. So we may end up paying double for the cost of something. How much lower do you know? I can get you that percentage. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Are there additional questions? Actually, I can tell you right now, it was $21,000 difference total. Um, but again, a lot of their items they submit are alternates. So you could be buying something that's a name brand versus not name brand. Mm -hmm. So any final questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Seconded by Ms. Levine Ross. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Thank you. Next item. 
Next item BC 2023-95, Department of Information Technology submitting an RFP exemption which will result in an award recommendation to B&H Photo Video in the amount not to exceed $37,680.11 for the purchase of various multimedia video production equipment and submitting a purchase order with said RFP exemption. Good morning, Janelle Green, uh, Department of IT. Um, this is a purchase on behalf of the multimedia functional area of um, IT, where um, they needed multiple uh, production equipment in terms of um, camera accessories and lighting in order to use in the field and in the studio um, for uh, their videos and, um, and the photography that they do on behalf of the county. Okay, Janelle, thank you. Questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Nicole English. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-96, Department of Information Technology, submitting an RFP exemption, which will result in an award recommendation to Coing Incorporated and the amount not to exceed $9,420.84 for the purchase of Clockify's annual standard software license subscriptions for the period January 31st, 2023 to January 31st, 2024, and submitting a purchase order with said RFP exemption. Janelle Green, Department of IT. Um, this is uh, a, a standard uh, license that is in use by the IT department in order to track uh, project time. So uh, many of our functional areas in IT do a lot of work for other departments. And this is a way for us to be able to pinpoint how many uh, hours and the time devoted to um, individual projects um, as the team works on them, uh, particularly uh, for like our multimedia departments, our web departments, they do a lot of work with other divisions of the county. Thank you, Janelle. Questions from the board? Mr. Meckler. Good morning, Janelle. In the, the backup, it talks about how the system goes to the level of detail that the current enterprise system does not. Is that, did we anticipate that the enterprise system would go to that level, or is this something we always knew? was going to be the case? No, um, this one, this software allows us to customize exactly what project we're working on. So when you're buying an enterprise uh, system, it's not gonna tell you, oh, uh, we did a project shoot for uh, you know, um, a public works bridge um, unveiling or something like that. So um, the Clockify system allows you to customize specifically what people are doing to the minutia of, of you know, are they taking photos, are they, um, um, updating the website for that kind of work. So that's something an enterprise system would never be able to do. Additional questions? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-97, Department of Information Technology recommended an award on RQ 10140 and enter into a contract with Hoover Blanket Incorporated, DBA Main Street Computing, and the amount not to exceed $349,200 for case management system software for the Board of Revision, effective upon signatures of all parties for a period of five years. Janelle Green, Department of IT. Um, again, this is uh, this was a procurement that was done on behalf of the Board of Revision. Um, Hoover Blanket uh, doing uh, business as Main Street Computing uh, would be supplying um, evaluation uh, system that will allow um, the Board of Revision to track, uh, you know, anytime there's a complaint about the valuation and the progress of those items. Um, I do have um, Ron O'Leary and team here that can speak to um, the need for this system. Thank you. Good, uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, Ron O'Leary with the Board of Revision. Uh, the Board of Revision's current case management system is a 12-year-old custom system uh, which has not had any maintenance um, or upgrades done during the time that the board has used it. Um, it is limited in that can, it only handles valuation complaints. Uh, the Board of Revision handles valuation complaints as well as um, expedited tax foreclosure, remission of penalty, and other types of complaints. The new system will be able to handle all of our case types and will also have maintenance and upgrades. Um, we had three bidders for, um, for the uh, RFP. Uh, one did not complete the response. One was just under $1.5 million um, and Main Street was, their bid was at 349,200. Um, that covers um, the, uh, 
uh, design of the program, implementation, um, five years of maintenance um, and upgrades as well. Okay, thank you, Ron. Are there questions from the board? Mr. Mackler. Mr. Ron, oh, in the backup it talks about the, there's a goal of um, certain percentages for SBE, FBE, and WBE. Were those met with this award or was that just the goal and we weren't able to meet that goal? Uh, yes, thank you. So, um, unfortunately, with the, the vendors that are registered with the county, um, we weren't able to meet all, well, the vendor wasn't able to meet all the goals. So there was, um, in two categories, they were able to, to meet it, and they couldn't get a vendor, another vendor, to meet the other one, because the main, the main uh, or the prime contractor can't supply all three of the, the categories that is required. Um, so they were able to meet two of them with the subcontractors that they have for this particular RFP. Oh, what two were those, Chair? Um, uh, let's see. Um, they had the MBE, and um, we have to see exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, they were trying to meet some of the, the MBE and the WBE. And we're satisfied that they're going to be able to meet those two goals? Yes, from what they provided, yes. And then is this a software program that would require data from the old software to be inputted in this? Is that is there any conversion issues or would is that something we won't need? Or? Um, that's one of the issues that, that we have, but I think that our plan is really just to keep the legacy system um, in place so that we can go back, you know, for any information that's in that and just move forward. So we, we will have the information in our current system, but um, I don't remember how much conversion we are going to do. Are we going to uh, I'm gonna move over? Yeah, but I, I think that largely we're planning on just maintaining the, uh, the legacy system. Is, is there a cost associated with maintaining the older system too, or is there no annual cost? Um, there's no annual cost to that. That's, again, a program that, that we, um, that we contracted with the vendor to create for us. And, and that's one of the issues was the lack of maintenance. So we own the system um, and our IT department has been supporting it as much as we've been, as much as we've needed. Any uh, final questions? Please. This is the uh, real estate assessment fund. Um, is this coming out of our general fund or how does that work? No, this is a separate fund for real estate related uh, purchases and this certainly covers it because it handles the complaints against uh, tax valuation. So, yep. Thank you. Sure. Seeing no further questions, I will make a motion to approve the item. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-98, Department of Information Technology, on behalf of the public defender, submitting an RFP exemption, which will result in an award recommendation to Axon Enterprises Incorporated and the amount not to exceed $125,000 for the purchase of Axon Evidence Software Subscription, Full Surface Basic and Professional License Bundles, effective upon signature of all parties for a period of five years, and submitting a contract with said RFP exemption. Janelle Green, Department of IT. Again, this is on the behalf of the public defender. Um, this would be a procurement for Axon's evidence.com application, which will allow the public defenders to be able to track evidence as it relates to cases. Um, you may have heard of this before. Um, the prosecutor's office also uses evidence.com for their uh, portion. Um, so this is a contract that would be for five years, so it's $25,000 per year for the application to be used by the Public Defender's Office. Thank you, Janelle. Questions from the board? Mr. Mackler. Mr. Chair, not, not a question, but just I think for the record, we should note that this is going to get reimbursed at 90% from the state public defender. Which is the current rate. Yeah. Right for <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Duly noted. Thank you. Any final questions? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve the item. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Second by Mr. Mackler. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Next item. Next Thank item, you. BC 
BC 2023-99 County Executive's Office submitting an RFP exemption, which will result in an award recommendation to Macaulay and Company LLC in the amount not to exceed $120,000 for federal lobbying, government relations services, and grant supportive services, effective upon signatures of all parties for a period of one year, and submitting a contract with said RFP exemption. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, this is for the County Executive. This is for federal lobbying. Um, we are requesting an exemption uh, specifically be based on timing. Our current contract uh, expires at the end of March. Uh, we wanted to bring someone in so that we're able to uh, grab some of the federal money that's available, including the earmark process, uh, which we believe will begin um, any, any week uh, in, the, in the coming weeks. Okay. Thank you, David. Questions from the board? Councilman Miller? No? Seeing no questions, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item's approved. Next item. Thank you. Next item, BC 2023-100. Sheriff's Department submitting an RFP exemption, which will result in an award recommendation to Bob Chapman Ford Incorporated and the amount not to exceed $430,235 for a state contract purchase of 10 replacement new never titled Ford Interceptor Sport Utility Vehicles model year 2023 or a manufacturer's current production model and submitting a contract with said RFP exemption. Chris Costin, Sheriff's Department. Uh, what we're asking for now is a state contract with Chapman Form out of Columbus. These are for 10 vehicles without the build out, so these are just the vehicles itself. Uh, just want to update you as we did last year. We have 95 vehicles in our fleet, two of them are over 200,000. We have five vehicles being 150,000 and 200,000 miles, and we have about 27 uh, vehicles between 100 and 150,000. Thank you, Chris. Questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Ms. Levine Ross. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Item is approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-101, Department of Health and Human Services, Division of Children and Family Services, submitting an RFP exemption which will result in award recommendation to Bluestone Child and Adolescent Psychiatric Hospital and the amount not to exceed $227,200 to pay various outstanding invoices in connection with short-term emergency child care services for children in custody of the Department of Children and Family Services for the period August 9, 2022 through October 6, 2022 and submitting a purchase order with said RFP exemption. Good morning, Marcos Cortez with Health and Human Services on behalf of Children and Family Services. Bluestone was a previous provider on our short-term emergency child con care contract, which ended 9-30-2022. Uh, Apparently, Bluestone was not utilized until well into the contract period when a child was finally placed there. When invoices were sent in, fiscal recognized that there was an issue with the way the, way the vendor was set up. The way the short-term emergency child care contract and our out-of-home care master contract work, the vendors have to be entered into a statewide uh, computer system called SACWIS. In that system, rates are entered, the service descriptions are entered uh, for placement and billing purposes. So by the time uh, we figured out that there was an issue, the contract had ended, invoice uh, payments uh, were closed. Um, so when we got to the final invoices, we could not pay them. Uh, so this was a, a way to, this is a way to finally pay those invoices. Thank you, Marcos. Questions from the board? Are we currently using Bluestone now? No, uh, not as, not for short-term emergency child care, no. Seeing no further questions, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Paul Porter. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Thank you. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-102, Department of Health and Human Services, Community Initiatives Division, Family and Children First Council, submitting an amendment to a master contract with various providers for opioid addiction prevention and training services for various school districts in Cuyahoga County for the period September 7, 2021 through December 31st, 2022, to extend the time period to July 31st, 2023, and for additional funds in the total amount not to exceed $90,000. Good morning, Kathleen Thomas Act from Family and Children First Council. I'm done yet. Oh, I'm sorry. A, I'm sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> A with Belfair JCB to expand the scope of services effective October 1st, 2022, to include various services in connection with the development and promotion of a positive social norms campaign and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $90,000. With Golden Cypress Incorporated, no additional funds required. 
I'm so sorry, Cheryl. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen Thomas Sack from Family and Children First Council. Um, as Cheryl stated, this is to add ninety thousand dollars to the current contract for um, welfare services. Um, we had to wait for the funds to be um, removed from the ESC contract for the ninety thousand um, dollars. We could not find a school district or any school districts from the um, ESC mm -hmm. to provide the opioid um, training services. Um, uh, the funds were administered to our office through the opioid um, settlement funds, um, but it was during the time of when COVID first hit and the districts um, just did not want to start any new programming at that time with everything being remote. Um, so in our discussion with um, Belfair, they wanted to, they agreed to add the $90,000 to, to, through their Say Yes program. Um, it's going to be in several districts, Cleveland Heights University Heights, Shaker Heights, Beachwood, Orange, Mayfield, Solent, and Chagrin Falls. Um, they're going to have forums with students, with teachers, with parents. Um, so it's going to be an educational, like a, not quite a train a trainer model, but it's going to be training. They're going to be able to reach at least 10,000 students and families throughout those school districts. Um, and because the ESC has such a large dollar amount, we had to wait until the funds got removed from their contract to not have an NSF before we were able to add the funds to this current contract. Okay, thank you. Uh, questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Mackler. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Next item. Next item, BC 2023-103, Department of Health and Human Services, Community Initiatives Division, Office of Homeless Services, submitting an amendment to a contract with Emerald Development and Economic Network Incorporated for, for facility management service for the Norma Her Women's Shelter located at 2227 Payne Avenue, Cleveland for the period January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022 to extend the time period to December 31st, 2023 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $496,595. Good morning, Erin Reardon, Office of Homeless Services. This is an amendment to our contract with Eden, as Cheryl stated, uh, to provide facility services at Norma Hare Women's Shelter. It is a sole source contract, uh, and we do intend to issue another contract for the 2024 fiscal year. Okay, thank you, Erin. Questions from the board? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Ms. Levine Ross. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The item is approved. Thank you. Moving on to consent agenda. Consent agenda items are BC 2023-104 through BC 2023-105. Are there questions? So, uh, yeah. Just one question on, on 104 to, to Paul Porter. Are you excited about going <laughs> to Cambodia? Thanks, Councilman Miller. I would uh, express my feeling as a mixture of excitement and, you know, a little bit of nervousness. I'm traveling somewhere I've never been before, but I think it's a really exciting opportunity, and uh, I do look forward when I come back to sharing a little bit about my experience as well. Okay, well, I'll send uh, positive travel energies out there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there uh, any other questions on the agenda? Seeing none, I will make a motion to approve uh, the consent agenda items as listed. Is there a second? A second. Second by Councilman Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Today's consent agenda items are approved. Moving on to other business? No other business. Any public comment? No public comment. I will make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Miller. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to